Hola, buen día, eh, Nico. Or should I say like young Miami, when has no chance because I'm about to put his ass to sleep. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I don't usually bring this kind of energy. And you know, I've been very gentle with you, Grandy. Very gentle with you because you're pretty with a fat ass. This has been me being gentle. This is, <laughs> what did Azalea Banks say? This is me being positive. This is what I've been doing. I've been gritting it. I've been very, I've been being, I've been being very respectful. But the thing is, I don't know why you named me. <laughs> because the video that you're addressing, I was not talking about you in particular. I used you as one of the examples because you're one of the more prevalent ones. But I was talking about the social constructs at play that give gay for pay financial success while giving the people that are actually within the community poverty. So, I don't understand why in your 12 minute long video, you only threw shade and addressed me for 20 seconds, but added my name in the title for clickbait. Bitch, your YouTube is a flop. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to add my name to it to like get views, especially because I'm just going to do a small recount on what you said regardless, probably add a clip of your clip inside of this so they don't have to go watch it because it was a pointless video. Let me just tell you, it was 12 minutes of two minutes. Oh, these are eggs. 20 seconds. Nico's Aesthetics is a jealous broke bitch. Um, other 10 minutes, more eggs. I don't understand. I don't understand. You could have just left this as a subtweet, but that's the thing. So like I said prior, I could wink hull because his entire point was don't use my success as a reason to feel a way about your financial situation and you having to work three jobs. That's not my fault. Stop trying to stop our bags because you named me, you named Flashman Way, you named Kevin Portillo. And I'm like, if you would think, if you would think, I said, I don't want to have to work three jobs, so I should do scamming as well. I should do scamming as well. I have always said, I have always said, I am not telling you to not subscribe to these men because if you want to, as a consumer, spend your money however you wish, that is up to you. But don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. And th this is going to you now. Don't be stupid. <laughs> because I also have a fat ass, so I know that does not, you know, affect your comprehension skills. I know you understand what I'm saying. And I need you to just fall back sit on those two big meat mounds you call melons and think about what I actually said. Because all I was addressing was the fact that you being heterosexual, air quotations, because I don't know your sexuality, but most men I know do not let other men nut on their asshole. That's just personally me. But you know, heterosexual, you're light skin and racially ambiguous, even though you said you're just Jamaican. I, I, that's still like, you're still very racially ambiguous. You look very biracial. So colorism, colorism and heterosexual fetish, those lift you on pedestals within the gay community, which allows you easy access to siphon money out of the community via bouncing your ass up and down. Because I'm not gonna give you the benefit of the doubt I give other girls like Yardy Style or um, who, Fat Rabbit Killer, who actually be laying down pipe. Grandy, if I wanted to jump up and down and bounce my ass, I would do so. I would do so. Like you don't under, <laughs> that's the thing. Like even in one of your previous videos, you said I should also be making OnlyFans content. We have the same physical build. We are both muscular, we are both tall and athletic and we both have a lighter complexion. If I wanted to bounce my fat ass for some money, I would. 
because I could. It's not like you're producing content that is very unique or hard to do. Like the bottoms in the Fat Rabbit Killer videos, they be screaming and snotting and vomiting, fighting that dick, and then have the nerds go, thanks for the collab, I had a great time. You're not doing that. You're not putting anyone through any actual work. You're just jumping up and down and spreading your unwashed ass. So that, <laughs> That's the most disrespectful aspect that I have of this conversation just because you were unnecessarily, oh, I need views. Would you like to do a collab? Would you like to do a YouTube video together? Just because you're broke doesn't mean you should be mad. If I have three jobs, I'm not broke. I'm just sleepy. <laughs> the modern American usually has two to three jobs. Like I said, I hell, I used to go go-go dancing and that would supply me with more than an ample amount of money. I could do that. I like, that's the thing. I don't understand why you think just because you took an avenue that I could also take, that it puts you above me on a financial bracket that's unreachable. Girl, I can make just as much money, especially since your Instagram got shut down. You now have a new Instagram and you do a fraction of the numbers. Yes, I saw that. Yes, I saw that. So your actual way of promoting your OnlyFans scam is now gone and it's probably hurting your wallet. That's why you're really trying to break through on YouTube, but your YouTube videos are only getting 200 views a pop because they're boring. Because you're not expressing personality beyond I am tall, masculine, light-skinned with a fat ass. If you want actual views, do not name drop me because I'm talking about social constructs. First few videos I gave you. First few videos I gave you because I named you in particular. But you saw that video. You saw that I was talking about the constructs and used you as an example and you felt the need to make a video with my name in the title because you wanted some views. So, here we're gonna say, I do not wanna do a YouTube video with you just because us collaborating on a YouTube video discussing the gay for pay financial gap that is within the LGBT community would not add anything to the conversation that I have not already addressed because I really don't need your perspective from someone who is outside of the community. Your words verbatim, you are not a part of the LGBT community. You are heterosexual just getting touched and felt on by gay men. It's not going to add anything to the conversation that I have not already addressed. Your perspective is outside looking in. We're talking about and we're looking outward. So I don't necessarily need to do a YouTube video with you, but I just want you to know, <laughs> I just want you to know that I could literally be doing the same thing. Like it's, you're not special, especially because like I said, you're just like a flash man, wait, all you do, you have a fat ass, you jump up and down and you spread it. It's not even like you're making sexual content or content with toys or content that pushes the boundaries of heterosexuality like you say that you're constantly doing when in reality you're just tweeting gay shit to get gay eyes on your straight ass and then you're taking their money to the bank that's it that's it and as soon as we can all address that the sooner we can move past this because i do not feel the need to address you <laughs> directly anymore because i said all i had to say and i really wish i could stop talking about gay for pay but you bitches need some views and that's why you're addressing me on it but if you really were open to dialogue, if you were really open for conversation, you would sit back and listen to what I actually said. Because other than saying that your asshole was dirty, which it was, yeah, you didn't clarify that in your video. Your asshole was covered in shit, which it was. I did not say anything derogatory or negative about you. I did not tell people to stop patronizing you. Patroning? Y'all know my English patroning you because that is up to them to spend their dollar how they want but if they're getting scammed they need to spend their dollar wisely so yeah you can continue to pretend to be sexually fluid because you're not because you keep saying that you're not you can pretend that you and malik you know getting bust nuts busted on you is like a regular thing but it's not it's not you're doing it for views which you stated you have no you have no standing in this conversation. I, I just want you to understand that, especially because you cannot address the social constructs that lift you up onto these pedestals that give you an advantage that most other people do not have. I could do it. <laughs> That's the thing, like you said in your own video, I should start an OnlyFans. I could do the shit. I have the platform. Hell, I'm getting bigger numbers on you on Instagram now because your page is gone. So it's like, 
I could do what you do. I just choose not to because that's not who I am. I don't have anything against sex workers. I personally am just too shy to just be naked on the internet. Nico, you post thirst traps all over the internet. That's besides the point. But yeah, I hope that cleared up this little situation that we had. I hope that addressed everything that needed to be said at this point. Do not make another video about me if it's just gonna be 20 seconds of shade and 10 minutes of you cooking fucking eggs with sausage. Yeah, yeah, I wasted 12 minutes of my fucking life to see this so-called shade and it was cheap. It was very heterosexual shade. Get money, B. Get money. Fucking strackets. I can't stand you people. <laughs> but yeah. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I will see you guys there.